Okay, before we start today's video, I wanted to show you the plan. Now that we're finally ready to redo the build, we've changed up our, our plan a little bit. So this is the overview. Let's look up here at the top. So here we have the house, the carport, the shed, and then the uh, line of concrete. This is all concrete in the middle. Comes straight out from the house, about 70 feet, 25 foot return, trying to align those lines. And then this, the most important thing, a straight line all the way. No more needing a road map to get up your driveway. And we think the wall probably comes about, um, about halfway down the driveway from the very back to the driveway to take care of the upper pad and then the slope down just where it needs it. At the lower end it'll die into the ground and then at the road we have the nice apron. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let me zoom back out again. You get the whole view. That's what you'll be looking at as you follow along. Okay, so this is exciting. Don, tell us what's going on here. Well, they're, 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 they're cutting into the uh, slab of dirt to, down to solid. Okay, so firm dirt. ground, yeah. And you can see the difference in color. The red dirt is the, what's down below, and the, the, the yellow is that loamy soil that was right. brought in. Right, okay. So they're, uh, they're digging out the foundational area of where the wall's going to go, and they'll be able to lay the brick and plus build behind it okay. with soil and um, rock. <clears throat> this is fantastic. Yeah, all this dirt that he's bringing out right now, a lot of it's going to come over here to this area here. Okay. But they will use that dirt behind the wall they build. Right. Okay, so this is really just establishing the cut line. Yeah. Well, so far we're off to a remarkable start. Guys, we're here on time. This is the crew from Atlanta. And it's a moving. And the operator really looks like he knows what he's doing. Finally. Finally. If we can say that. And he has supervision from his foreman, and that there was oh, that communication shock. was not going on. That's right. With the other crew. All right, it's a good start. Okay, work continues. It looks like the gravel has arrived. Don heard the supervisor on the phone earlier saying, "I need gravel, and I need it now. I don't need it tomorrow." This is the gravel they're going to use to fill the block and lay the foundation. Meanwhile, the guys are starting to lay the wall. They've come up with a, uh, they've got a crew digging the trench. Again, more work than we saw ever before. Good, good start. Well, this is about midday. What have we got going, Don? Well, they're working on the block stair stepping it down this way. Okay, at the foundation. Uh, they're above the foundation. Okay. Um, they they've started at the high end and stair stepping this way. Okay. Uh, the block will be level to eye view, but the way they're building it is they're stair stepping down at the ground level. Yeah, yeah, because the ground changes. Yeah. And then uh, bringing in dirt to fill in this area here. 
think we can get down there and take a video, or should we just wait? No, it's too muddy. Okay. It's really muddy. We'll get for sure an end of day, but have you been down there to look? Okay, here's our mid-afternoon update. Got the guy from last night, our dump truck driver that stayed long. nice. Okay, thought I'd take a quick video from up above. Here's our pile of block. Here's the upper curve. They decided uh, they actually wanted to curve the wall. It's going to go straight. I'll take a look in a minute. But uh, the having a curve just helps stabilize the whole wall instead of a single straight wall that could uh, start to, to push if things went poorly. And here is the moment of truth sighting down the line of the wall. I think they will indeed have a straight line. We've asked them to step the wall um, in a little bit, uh, or over to the right from this angle, I guess, a little bit, so that we have about a one and a half foot um, uh, shoulder, I guess I'd say, going down the driveway. So as you drive down, you're not right up on the edge of the wall. So I think we're looking good. One more angle from from this side, uh, just to show the construction. That curve looks very nice and neat. Uh, they've even got the, a drain pipe. Look at that coming through the wall. Ah, that's great. Beautiful um, to help alleviate our, our water issues. Oh my gosh. I think what we're waiting on right now, why they're taking a break, is that they need that membrane. So Parker, the uh, manager, had gone down to, to get the um, fabric membrane that goes in between the layers. But just overall, you can see from this angle now that they dug dug down to what we call the firm ground. So this wall is not being built on fill, thank goodness. And I think we're off to a good start. Ah, down below, completion of yesterday's project of putting the last pieces of concrete in the dump truck. One more view of the last pieces of concrete loading. Anyone that follows this channel, <laughs> uh, and if you watched last yesterday's video, which was published this morning, you'll know that this is a big, a big moment. It goes much faster when it's already broken up. All right, well, every day needs its drama. What we're looking at up here is at the front corner of the property where the, uh, one of the construction trucks has uh, slipped down next to our utility box. I suspect it's the utility box for the lot next door, but actually it might be our power too. Anyway, they have a bit of a dilemma now because um, they need to get the truck out of the ditch. In the meantime, I'll swing back over here because you can see that work is nearly complete. Looks like they've made quite a mess of things, but I'm confident that they'll get it all cleaned up. That's, that's the way you want. Okay, so here's our mid-afternoon update. The bobcat's right in the way, so it's a little bit hard, but let me try zooming in. If you can see the fiber mesh that they're laying down. You can see a little bit of it there. I'm sure we'll get better close-ups. But this is a much wider mesh than they had before. Yeah. And uh, they put this down every few blocks and that helps hold the, the wall, make it one with the, the dirt behind it. So work is continuing. Okay, three in the afternoon and we're down for a long view. Let's see if we can get a line up the wall. Let me zoom in a little bit. 
Well, first of all, I guess I should start out here. Um, the rain made this quite a mud pit, and there's a fair bit of uh, cleanup to do. I think they're going to let it dry, but they should broom sweep it before the day's over. They did apologize, though, which again is something we didn't get from the last group. Okay, let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. Uh, bring it over the next round of block. You can see the pink flag. I think I'm just going to have to wait till the end of day to get a, a better view of this. But they're doing a very uh, careful job and we're pretty happy with how the work is progressing. Okay, here's an amazing feat of Bobcat. Our guy here, he doesn't even need a forklift. He just uses the bucket of the Bobcat. Amazing. That's the hard part right there. Oh. I thought picking it up was the hard part. Oh. Moving is the hard part. Ah. Well, how did he get his bucket underneath without... He just, he just does it. Wow. Super, he's a good operator. Well, it's about 5.30, I think, and work continues. Let's see what we got. We got this guy's digging, a, digging the ditch a little deeper. This guy, not sure. These guys are working at the line. And the bobcat driver keeps bringing them dirt. I think it's looking pretty darn good. 